California's largest state park, filled with cactus, badlands, a slot canyon, hummingbirds feeding on ocotillos, 4x4 back roads, desert hikes, two mines, mountain scenery, creosote plants. If you crush some leaves of a creosote plant in your hand, it'll smell like rain. So awesome. Try it. And historic trails, the Pacific Crest Trail and the Juan Batista de Anza National Historic Trail. It's all where? Well, you've got to come travel across America with me. This has got to be one of my favorite places. Oftentimes people ask me, where is your favorite place? My favorite state would be California because of the scenery and the things to do. But Southeast Utah is tough to beat. But back to Anza Borrega. As I mentioned, it's California's largest state park with over 600,000 acres to explore. From desert floor to mountain peaks, there are ample opportunities for discovery and there's ample opportunities to get lost. This is a 4x4 extravaganza. And remember, vehicles stay on roads. There is the adjacent Ocotillo Well State Vehicular Recreation Area. Now this is an ATVer's paradise and some might call it a nightmare. When this place is hopping, you do not want to be anywhere near there unless you are an ATVer. But the park does not allow ATVs and so it is great to explore on foot and in your vehicle. There are tons of 4x4 roads for street worthy vehicles. We have been to Anza Borrego three times and can't wait to go back. You'll want to hang on to the end of the video when I tell you about the PCT, yes, the Pacific Crest Trail. Does it pass through Anza Borrego Desert State Park? And what does the southern terminus of the PCT look like? It's the Pacific Crest National Scenic Trail. You'll have to wait. Be sure to obtain a park map before you go. And remember, it is 600,000 acres and California's largest park. So it will take a lot of time to explore. The scenery, the badlands, the desert is spectacular. The park provides great maps with highlighted areas that you'll want to check into. Be sure to go to the visitor center. It's open daily, October through May, and then June through September on weekends and holidays. And it is on the western side of the park outside of the town of Borrego Springs, where you can find most travel services. The park's name is derived from explorer Juan Batista de Anza and the term Borrego, which means bighorn sheep in Spanish. The park provides 500 miles of dirt roads, high clearance vehicle recommended. And you won't want to miss the night skies. The twinkling stars, incredible. You can discover so much history at this park. But today, I want to focus on the slot, the highlight of our third visit to Anza Borrego, California's largest state park and great desert park. Be sure to fill up with fuel. You'll need it. Did I mention the plant life? The desert plants are gorgeous. And if you go in May and June, you'll see them in full bloom. There are plenty of books and maps at the State Park store. The map is your most valuable resource when traveling through this gigantic park. Because of the size of the park, and if you enter from the east, there isn't a visitor center for you to pay. If you make stops before the visitor center, you may run across park rangers and you will need to pay the fee with them. At the entrance of the slot, because of its popularity, there are usually rangers there checking to make sure you have bought the day pass. And now let's travel through the slot. Just enjoy the walk, the slot, the trail, the scenery, the flashes of light, the mud-like formations, simply incredible. Slot canyons are so much fun, but realize you may have to do some squeezing and possibly some scrambling, as you will. Please be sure to subscribe. And if you have, thank you. And if you haven't, could you please subscribe? Tips on hiking the slot. First of all, the distance is one to two miles. It depends if you hike in and back or if you do the longer loop. I suggest going to the end of the slot and returning the way you came instead of heading out to the Jeep road. It's rated easy and it will take you one to two hours, again, depending on how fast and how long you want to make it. Basically, you park at the trailhead parking lot, enter the slot, and when you get to the wash, I recommend turning around. How do you get to the slot? Well, it's in the park off of Highway 78. 
8. The trailhead is labeled Slot Canyon Trail. It is located at the end of Buttes Pass Road. It is a two mile long gravel road from the highway to the parking area. At the parking area, there are restrooms as well as a pay station if there are no rangers present along the roadway. The day use fee at Anza Borrego is $10. You can pay cash or use the app. One of the things that I recommend is either getting there very early or much later in the day. If you go later, it may be warmer, but less crowded. You want it to be less crowded so you can take time to take photographs and also just passing people through the slot, it, you know, sort of takes away from the thrill of the whole thing. You'll want to go when it's not crowded. When we went, there was a group of, well, I think there was about eight of them, and we just let them go ahead and stalled for a while so they could get way ahead of us so that we could enjoy our hike and be able to take pictures without them being in the photographs. Because two-way traffic in the slot can create what would I guess you could call it a traffic jam. As I mentioned earlier, there are a few tight spots and a little bit of easy rock scrambling. There's one spot that you will have to uh, jump down or slide down. Overall, there is only about a 100 feet elevation gain. The reason I recommend that you turn around at the wash is because once you are out of the slot, you are totally exposed to the sun and there is zero shade for the rest of the hike. Returning through the slot makes the most sense. Many people choose to wear hiking shoes or running shoes. I did it in flip-flops, of course. Be sure to take a liter of water at least. And if you wear sunglasses, you'll be taking them off and on the whole time. And you might want to pack a snack. But as always, always carry out your trash. It's one of the best things to do in Anza Borrego Desert State Park. I hope this entices you to visit Anza Borrego Desert State Park in Southern California. Please be sure to subscribe. And if you have, thank you. And if you haven't, could you please subscribe? And if you're enjoying my videos, please give me a like. And I always enjoy your comments. Oh, I forgot to tell you about the Pacific Crest Trail. It's the jewel in the crown of America's scenic trails. It spans 2,650 miles from Mexico to Canada through three Western states. The trail passes through five California state parks, Castle Crags and MacArthur Bernie Falls in Northern California and Silverwood Lake, Anza Borrego Desert and Mount San Jacinto in Southern California. The Pacific Crest Trail Association is an excellent source of information for anyone planning a trip on the PCT. Now, I brought up the PCT because it goes through Anza Borrego Desert State Park, which we have walked some of this trail, and also at Castle Crags in Northern California. And as a really fun thing, we went to the very end of the PCT at its southern terminus at the border of California and Mexico. There's a geocache there, if you know what geocaching is. Here at the the southern terminus of the Pacific Crest National Scenic Trail. The sign reads, established by Act of Congress on October 2nd, 1968. Mexico to Canada, 2,627 miles. Flip-flops on the ground in Southern California. It's the best.